The Summit series of notebooks has so far never disappointed, delivering quality designs and an overall premium feel that doesn't have a premium price tag, which can be pretty important in a market that sees laptops go up in price with every passing year. Let's see if this Alder Lake-powered Summit E16 Flip Evo can live up to the legacy of its predecessors. Since this is an Evo model, you rely on the integrated graphics, but the Evo treatment also means that the CPU is pushed to the limit of its 65W power adapter. MSI treats you well with the unboxing experience as well, giving you a dedicated MSI pen, so artists and designers better be on the lookout for this device. The laptop is made of 100% aluminum alloy and employs a glass display cover, which is great for lid durability. However, we see some flex from the base, albeit it's nothing dramatic. The appearance seems to be focused pretty heavily, as the matte black finish paired with the sleek MSI branding makes for a great looking notebook. What we like to see is a portable weight of 1.90 kg and a profile of 17 mm. Finally, we see a numpad, especially when it's complemented by a comfortable keyboard with long key travel and clicky feedback. It also has a backlight and the keys themselves are large enough. The touchpad is covered in glass as well and when paired with the 165Hz displays offers a very good experience. The I.O. is well populated, with two Thunderbolt 4 ports, two USB Type-A 3.2 Gen 2 ports, an HDMI 2.0 port, a switch for the camera, a microSD card reader, and a 3.5mm audio jack. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. There are two display options, with a 16-10 aspect ratio and a 165Hz refresh rate. Both of them use IPS panels with either a FHD Plus or a QHD Plus resolution, of which we tested the former option. In short, the display offers good angles, but the brightness uniformity is out of bounds on the entire right side, which might interfere with the accuracy of the colors. Otherwise, the panel has 100% sRGB coverage and reaches a delta E value of 1.2 with our design and gaming profile. The laptop packs a heavy 82 Watt hours unit which lasts for 12 hours and 30 minutes of web browsing, or 12 hours and 9 minutes of video playback. This is when the laptop is paired with the Core i7-1280p which is the worst case scenario. The Core i7-1280p squeezes as much as possible from its 28 watts power limit, outperforming all of its competitors in the weird thin and light productivity market. The iGPUs will struggle against offerings with discrete graphics, however, nothing is stopping you from getting a non-Evo laptop, which can come with either an RTX 3050 or a 3050 Ti, capped at 40 watts. Despite the large footprint, there are only 7 Phillips head screws that you have to undo. Doing so reveals soldered LPDDR5 RAM, with up to 32GB of it, and only one SSD slot that fits Gen 4 drives. There are no changes in cooling between the Evo and non-Evo models, with 4 heat pipes, 2 fans, and 2 heat spreaders. Interestingly the fans are in the middle, with the pipes wrapping around them. Compared to the only other laptop with the Core i7-1280p the Prestige 15 once again, from MSI, it performs worse, dropping its wattage and clock speeds in the long run of our stress test. This is due to the 65 watts adapter, which doesn't supply enough power. Comfort is okay, with the hotspot being located at the left side of the base, right around the WASD keys. It maxes out at 43.8 degrees Celsius. While limited by its charger, the Summit E16 Flip still outperforms its competitors from Lenovo, Asus, and Acer. We would recommend also taking a look at the non-Evo model, as the possible performance increase might warrant taking a hit to the battery life. The advantages of RTX graphics should also be considered, if you plan to do any creator work on the laptop. If you want to see the rest of the tests and more details about the device, you can check out our in-depth review. The link is in the video description below.